What is up, fellas? Today we're going to be playing chess, but not just chess, because I thought I'd step it up a notch. You've seen great chess players before, but today I am going to be playing chess blindfolded. You may say, I've seen them blindfolded chess, but you've never seen blindfolded chess the way I play blindfolded chess. So let me start here. Get my blind. Get my blindfold here. Gotta get it over me. Over, under, do loop, do loop, and pull. That didn't work very well. And then we're gonna do a 30 minute game, of course. Give me time to play. And I think I'm gonna start out with. I think we're gonna start out with a pawn move. What kind of pawn move do we want? Yeah, I think we're gonna move that pawn up. After that pawn move, we're gonna move our knight. Yeah. Predictable move by him. He's gonna move his pawn up. It's a pretty Le Fonte opening. I think what I wanna move here is quite simple. I don't want to move our rook. So I move the pawn so I can move my rook. Um, I think I want to move. I think I want to move my queen up like that. I'm gonna move. Uh, he's pretty predictable. This guy must be in the low like twenties. Quite obviously, I kind of want to move my uh, knight out. Kind of castle. Great at castle, that's why I moved the rook earlier. Get the castle in front. He's taking quite a while to think of his next move, but that's pretty sim That's pretty obvious. Low elo players don't understand that they can move faster. Man, what do we want to do here? That's a pretty crazy opening. I think we want to move. Huh. Mm. What if we took, what if we took his knight here? Yeah, like that. Yeah, that's a pretty standard move. hard moves this guy's good I thought I thought I was against a low elo kind of guy here at first but I can kind of tell he's getting making the moves on me hmm you know, you never know like what, what what's he gonna pull out next you know cuz he could pull out something crazy so I'm just not sure what he's gonna do here oh every moment in these 30 minute games. You have time, so you want to take your time. Yeah, I think that's a good move. I like I like my knight being there. It's just more secure, you know? I kind of want him there. On, on C5, my knight's not really vulnerable to anything. Whereas, it's more vulnerable on the other side. 
of D7. You know what I mean? I'm not really sure what to do here. What if we do the rook move there, like that, and take? Oh, I took something. I think I took my rook with his pawn. But I think, if I'm thinking right, I do have a rook on e7, a castle. I think I have my castle in his base somewhere. It's kind of infiltrating up inside the base. I think I have my king kind of hiding. He, I don't think he's on the board anymore. I think he went to uh, Argentina. Uh, to the Caribbean. The queen, the queen's actually having an affair with that king, his king. I know that for a fact. And my pawns, I think I have like three pawns left. And that's all I need. Sorry, that move for him took a really long time and I was just kind of sitting here waiting. That was kind of annoying. Um. But so far the game's looking good. I think I have like, a, my knights are out there somewhere. Having a good time. I got some rooks out there, I know that. My castles, I don't think they're in base anymore. I think I have one castle in base from when I castled my king on the left side. But other than that, nothing else there. So that's good. I think we're gonna go for a checkmate here. I think we got him. I think that's game. Yeah, that's game. He's done. Sometimes it has to be done, you know. Why can't I move? Oh, you cheated. You picked that. Did I win? Ah, that was close. That was a close one. I think I could have beat him. I think I could have beat him if I had more pawns up. 